All right, join me today for a Byron literally on the rooftop and a leaky chimney. Let's see if you can play Sherlock Holmes with me and find why this customer is getting water down in their house. As we approach the chimney, we notice the obvious signs of rust up here. We're gonna come back to that in just a minute. First, we get down low and we look along this edge and we see and we ask ourselves, is there any pooling? Is it puddling up there? I got a little mounding. I can push in the middle and see if it goes down. It's fairly, fairly strong, but I do have some pooling possible right here towards the chimney pipe itself. We'll come back to that. Look at a visual scan down this. Do you see the signs of the water staining? The water staining tells a story. From our other videos, you know that soot tells a story. Smoke tells a story. Up here, as we investigate a water leak, water leaves a story behind. So we know that this is sheeting down and it's actually going onto this board. And then when we look under the under lip, of this press board, we see the quality American manufacturing of our siding. So look underneath just a sampling of one of these press boards, rather, rather remarkably cheap. When the paint peels, when the paint fails, it soaks in and it swells and the building material becomes multiple times uh, larger. Also, this is not fully uh, engaged there, but let me show you how the board thickens. So track with me this right hand board as we go down. It's one and one eighth inch thick. Whoa, do you see that? That's not a camera angle. That's an actual change. This one's almost an inch and a half. Let's look at the other side. Again, we're just gonna track visually down this board to see how much it swells. This is not real wood, folks. This is press wood. And we know that water is entering the building material, beginning it to swell, and it's coming through the joints. So we track the water flow down. I'm gonna move the camera. Whoa, see how small, much smaller it got there? We track it down, it's getting bigger. It's getting smaller, do you see that? Look at that, it's an inch and a quarter, back to an inch and an eighth. And then down here, the piece de resistance, look at that, we're almost two inches thick down here at the bottom. Remarkable, look at the nails, look at the puff. It looks like, it looks like a upholstery actually. The wood is all swollen. So they've probably used the wrong building materials here if it's absorbing water. This is real wood. I don't know if the camera's picking up the grain. That's real wood. Now let's talk about the edge of this and where I found the water to be coming in actually. So this is just a cheap piece of sheet metal folded over, nailed in the corner. You'd think that's okay because it's putting all the water on the outside of the structure. That's its job. However, a chase cover ideally constructed should come over and kick out for a 3 8 drip lip so that this sheeting, S-H-E-E-T-I-N-G, so it doesn't sheet down the wall and test every uh, joint in this wooden structure. Now let me show you what I believe the leak is. I'm going to start on the left and we're going to end up on the right. So I'm going to hold the camera steady and I'm just going to move the chimney cap, lift it up and down. Do you see the separation in the collar? Once you, whoa, I can just do it with my finger. See the separation? So this collar is not seated to this product, nor is it sealed. Now look over here. You probably already picked it up. You're a good, you're a good class. Uh, you're good students. Look at how that pipe and uh, the collar is moving up and down. Oh, I, I'll just touch it here. Look at that. So we know this thing is just flooding water in. And remember earlier, this is a low spot. So the water's flowing in and just literally it's a funnel to take it right into the house. So you might be saying, Byron, okay, you're so smart. Tell me how to fix this thing. I would get a new chase cover. And with that chase cover, I'd make sure that we get a storm collar appropriate so that the water sheds onto the actual chase pan or chase cover. And then I would go ahead and have a handyman, general contractor, maybe your chimney sweep company will do this, but replace the boards, at least the top 10 feet all the way around all four sides of this. Get a fresh start, use real wood that has wood grain to it, not a press board, and then uh, paint it and give them a fresh start. So it'll be a scaffolding job, etc. Just wanted to share that with you today. Kind of a, it, it took me a couple minutes to find it, but I think, I think you guys are probably smarter than me. You would have found it right away by going up and just pushing on the top. Here's to you and your success.